Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today, I will show you how can you use the AWS Support Center. Yes, you may need the AWS support. Any technical billing related queries to AWS will be addressed by AWS support. Once you log into your AWS portal, as I have already logged into my AWS portal, the top right corner, you see the support option, which says support center. Now, if you are logged in as root user or user having administrative privilege, then only you can see this support center. First, let me show you if you are not getting this support center option, what you have to do? You have to log in as root user or administrator user, search for IAM. I'm going to policies and here search as support. So as you see this AWS support, this AWS support policy is responsible for getting this option for your support center. So if you are logged in as an user which doesn't see this support center option, then your administrator or root user has to go to your users. I don't have currently any user. So and have to add this AWS support policy to your user and then you will start getting this option. Now, let me show you once you have this option, how to check, how to go and log a ticket. So I clicked on support center. Now it is a support center portal and it shows that view all cases means the tickets you have already created and not resolved or resolved with the status. As you see that I have one ticket case ID already created and to create a new case, you click on create case. So once you click on create case, it gives you three categories. One is technical support, another is service limit increase, another is account or billing support. Now suppose we are selecting this technical support and it will say that technical support is unavailable under basic support plan. Generally you have the basic support plan only. Technical support is unavailable under basic support plan. If you have any query or issue regarding your account or billing support, just click on this billing support and here you can raise the case. You will select the type which kind of issue is this, whether it is account, account management, billing, data exchange, educate and all these things, marketplace or IQ. You will place your subject here. You will write details of the issue here and in contact information, you will find that via email and support center, you will be contacted. Once you fill this form, simply just submit. And once they reply, you will find their reply into that case ID. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any query, please write in the comment box below. I will be happy to help you. See you in our next session.